It seems like the rumors are true. Amber Heard is officially done after her career and finances were basically hit by the verdict in the Depp vs. Heard defamation case. And I'm not only saying this just because I want to. In fact, a lot of experts actually believe that this is true as they predict a no return for the Aquaman star in the Hollywood scene. Like literally no way back whatsoever. So, is Amber officially out of Hollywood? Or could she still bounce back after everything that happened? Let's find out. Just like how Disney dropped Johnny. <laughs> Amber is getting crossed out from movies and campaigns after the verdict favoring Johnny was announced earlier this week. Especially when Johnny didn't only win in the court of law but also in the court of public opinion. That is why people also want nothing to do with her. Because of this, experts are saying that it'll be impossible for Amber to get back on track and start acting again. Based on what the Daily Mail reported they said, experts have suggested that there is no way back for Heard in Hollywood, adding that the dramatic six-week court battle has left the actress too icky for a studio, raising questions about her career and future earnings. This is mainly because Hollywood bosses will surely hesitate to hire someone who falsely accused her ex-husband and is getting labeled as a manipulative liar and abuser herself. Aside from this reason, one of the main ordeals for Heard is the fact that everyone seemed to hate her after the trial. It's a no-brainer that studios and movie houses will never Never cast someone who people won't like to watch, right? I mean, there's literally a petition to get her out of the movie. Of course, this also caused a ripple effect on her assets. With more than $10 million to pay as damages, Amber's finances will literally crumble if we take into consideration her current capability of getting hired. It's just like one bad thing after the other and Amber will drown if she can't find something to hold on to. This is why Amber's lawyer revealed that her client is planning to appeal the verdict. I client want to appeal. Oh, absolutely. And she has some excellent grounds for it. We even had tried to get the UK judgment in to dismiss his case because he already had his shot. Um, and that's one of the issues, but also a number of the evidentiary issues. There was so much evidence that did not come in. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not. Finally, in, in closing arguments, Amber's team argued that this would send a message, that it would send a message that no matter what you do as an abuse victim, you always have to do more. You need to be perfect in order for people to believe you if she did not get a favorable verdict. What message do you think this sends? It's a horrible message. It, it's, as I said, a setback. It's a significant setback because that's exactly what it means. Unless you pull out your phone and you video your spouse or your significant other beating you, e effectively, you won't be believed. Elaine Charlson, Brad Hoff, thank you very much for your time this morning. However, in my opinion, will only cause her more money and more damage to her career in the long run since there's no guarantee that she will successfully prevail on appeal. I mean, especially if we recall the dubious evidence and witnesses she presented during trial. Well, how about you? Do you think Amber can still make a comeback or is it totally over for her? Let us know in the comments below.